Hey everyone, the Wingling Guardian here. Just a quick video. Um, my bees are flying out today. It's Friday, February 10th, and it's 60 degrees. And finally the sun, or the clouds have broken, and we get some nice full sun. But um, yeah, uh, up to this point, yesterday I saw a couple of bees flying, and uh, it was in the 40s, and thought maybe by chance it was just a couple of brood that didn't succumb to cold and came out, or they were just um, loners from, I don't know, from somewhere. It, it was an activity like this, so I, I wasn't certain what was going on. Uh, I did pick up the lid and try to feel with the, you know, I've got like three quarter of an inch of wood on the top there and I did not feel any warmth, could not discern any warmth and I didn't want to knock on the on the hive to disturb them but they survived minus 10, that was the temperature and then we had, who knows what the um, wind chill was but they're going in to these other hives here that have honey in them. I don't know why, because they have plenty of honey of their own. But until I see pollen, can't say for certain what's going on, because I did have a, um, a year that the bees looked like they survived had activity but when I went in there was a, a lane worker so at least I've got more than a couple of bees left and I think I showed you what I had done this time though I had some foam here and some of that foil bubble wrap insulation type of thing, but good amount of insulation on top here, instead of just open space. So hopefully that might have helped. But unless we get another polar vortex, and like I said, I don't have a, if I don't have a queen, I think they're, um, over the worst part of winter. I hope we're not going to have a really hot winter and uh, drought because well, we've had rain, but we just haven't had cold temperatures and uh, needed for any snow. I'm trying to think. We had like a total of four inches of snow or something this year. That's a couple of dustings at a time. Maybe two inches at the most at one time. So yeah, just a quick update for February 10th, Friday, February 10th, 2023. I did lose this hive here. Um, and given it some thought, it was my fault. Bees really are not uh, critical thinkers, uh, when you look back at it, they are not going to leave, oh, I just saw some bees fighting. These two bees here, are they fighting or is that a dead bee being removed? Uh, looks like it's being removed. That's odd because it's a dead out, so what are they cleaning out this side for? But, um, oh, look, there's, yeah, they're, they are cleaning that out. There's some wax capping, so they are, this is another nearby hive, taking advantage of, of this too. It looks like they're actually cleaning this hive out for some reason.
But the, oh, what I was saying is that I had the bees have plenty of honey, but they're not going to get to it because they're not going to leave their brood. So you really have to have the honey on either side of the brood uh, and the cluster and right directly on top because uh, they are not going to be able to. If it's too cold, they're not going to leave and they're just going to starve in place even though you have lots of honey in the hive. So I should have consolidated this could have got it down to two boxes with fondant on top and would have been able to save them and that was this year's prices for well that's just for a package of bees is two hundred dollars so so this is New England gardening I have bees that have made it through minus 10 degrees. We've had, we had two polar vortex. The first one I don't think was that cold. I wonder if I should open up some other doors. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.